So I LS swapped this fucking thing. 1977 Monte Carlo with a 468 big block. So the car's got a 500 horse big block in it and I'm driving it every day. I loved it. I'd go to the gym, go get something to eat, go to a friend's house, and then as you guessed it, my very next stop would have to be the gas station. The previous owner who put the big block in it put a small fuel cell in the trunk. But with that being said, I really couldn't go anywhere with the damn thing. That's the thing with me, if you haven't noticed already, I drive my stuff. I don't build anything to be a trailer queen or something to just run at the track. I drive it on the street, daily, almost daily, everywhere I want to go with it. So that's what impresses me, drivability, not 1800 horsepower you know, one time, a couple times a year. So it's the year 2018. LS swaps are well known and common and common cars like 80s Monte Carlos and Chevelles and El Caminos. But I couldn't find anybody that had put LS swap in a second gen Monte Carlo. I looked all over the internet. You know, I had this problem looking for engine mounts. This was right at the time I was doing this. A company just started to make those adjustable mounts that slide back and forth. So a friend of mine had let everybody know in the area that he had a 6.0 that he wanted to sell. So I was like, all right, fuck it. Let's give it a try. And a good friend of mine, Bob at Next Gen Auto, who's an LS master in the Chicagoland area. If you have LS stuff and you probably had him work on your car if you needed something done on it. So with his help and his direction on it, I was like, sure, why not try it? I can't lose. I would not have attempted this on my own because I wasn't interested in just a stock LS swap drop-in. So I tear it down, down to the short block. We did the oil pump on it. Uh, coming up on that, I was just like, what the fuck is this? Swap the heads. I went with, uh, I think they're 243 heads. and I got them off a different friend's uh, GTO, either the 241 or 243 heads. Whatever the better of the two is, I went with those heads. Then a BTR stage two cam. And obviously, because it's an old car, I went carbon intake headers. We did the trunnion upgrade. And um, off the top of my head, I can't think of anything else that we did. But if you want to be modding something, then I would go the old engine. I would go SBC. It's not cheaper to mod an LS over an SBC, despite what all these LS people say. I mean, I've done it. And you've got to consider when you LS swap, you're already going to be out a bunch of money to, you know, the transmission mount, where the trans goes, where the cross member goes. Uh, engine mounts, like I said, power steering conversions, all that cockamimi bullshit they're not telling you about. On top of the whatever engine mods you want to go with. Yeah, if you want to be playing around with cams and heads and intakes and carburetors, yeah, SBC all the way. But if you're one of those guys that just wants to paint an engine and just drop in and go, then yeah, I would say LS. But if your car was factory with a small block, SBC, 80s, 70s, 60s, you're not going to save any time or money by going LS. So if you've been wondering why I got so much to say about LS versus SBC, here you go. Here's your answer. So I carbureted and I'm at Next Gen Auto at Bob's shop. And all the mechanics there are LS guys, modern performance guys. And they were all just like, but they had no idea where I was coming from. Or they were like, what the fuck are you doing? And then like 10 minutes later, after I just got done doing that, some, uh, some 90s car LS swap comes in the shop, got towed in. Because they did LS swap and they couldn't get it to idle right. Something was wrong with the idle. So as they're unloading off the tow truck and I'm hearing all this, I start laughing my ass off. And then I look at everybody else and I said, that's exactly why I carbureted my shit. Because this dude's going to drop almost $1,000 on a tow bill and a service fee on getting a computer hooked up to and figuring out how to make this thing idle. I'm not hating on fuel injection unless it's electronic, then yeah, that sucks. Mechanical is the way to go, but... You know, my discretion is if you have a 90s Fox body and you carburetor it, you're just going backwards. Same thing if you do a LS swap to a 95 Camaro. I would just keep that fuel injection. I mean, that's just what makes sense to me. But we're talking about a 77 Monte Carlo here, and I'm a total mechanical gearhead. So, yeah, absolutely, 750 CFM carburetor on this thing. I did a BTR Stage 2 cam, and after I first fired it up and it, it popped off, and I was like, Bob, what the fuck is this? And it sounded like an RV cam. And he's like, it's BTR Stage 2. I was like... Dude, this sounds like a bullshit-ass 5,500 RPM cam in an early SBC engine. So with that, I was a little bit disappointed. We had talked about what cam to go with at first, and I decided, you know, for daily use, I figured BTR Stage 3 would be a little bit much, but turns out, you know, it wasn't. That probably would have been perfect, and that's when I learned about, you know, the fire order swap in an LS compared to the old SBC. It had good power. Um, It's just different power than an old-school mechanical big block, right? I mean... After I switched it over, I kind of missed, you know, I would rather have the big block power. But like I said, I was I was finally able to drive this thing. But the end result was I should have just put an original gas tank back in the car. You know, this LS swap 
it costed more than I had budgeted and wanted it to. And uh, my bigger issue was it took twice as long to get this thing all figured out. The radiator swap and converted for, you know, that alternator and the power steering and all that bullshit. So after all that was said and done, yeah, I was like, man, what a pain in the ass. Won't say I won't ever do one again, but for those of you considering LS swap or sticking with something, you know, Gen 1, to me it's like this. If you're just going to go stock for stock and just do a swap, yeah, sure, go the LS and leave a fuel injection or just put a carburetor and intake on it. I kept the 4L60, put a small stall converter in it, and went with the compu factory computer system because there was cruise control in that. Like I said, I like to drive my stuff, so... I was kind of like, you know, I was kind of trying to be in like forward motion with technology and be in the future. But um, after I did it all and it was all said and done, I just got it running. I found somebody that liked the car and wanted to trade me their uh, tubbed out C10 with the four-speed manual trans. So I went right back to being fucking old school.